What is the problem? What is going on? Wow, what does that mean? I don't know what you thought. Let's let's move on here. What up, it's your girl Minna. In this video, we are going to be trying out the new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation, and we're gonna see what she's talking about. Is it gonna give us coverage? Are we going to enjoy it? How do we feel about it? Let's get right to it. Now let's clip the hair back. I got my donation company coming, praise the Lord. It's not like I wait until like spring cleaning or anything in particular like that. I just hate any kind of hoarding. It's called DonateStuff.com, I think. And they come pick it up. It just relieves me of any hassle of having to get my stuff, take it somewhere. I don't have to do all that. Huda sent us foundation, which I'm grateful for. Thank you very much to Huda Beauty. And we've got three of them. Ooh, the lava cake is looking crazy. I need to shake these up clearly. So we have ganache, hot fudge, and lava cake. But let's go over what we expect with this foundation, okay? First off, let me just tell you, when I looked at it, I was not pleased with the lack of options for brown skin, what is the problem, okay? So this is a new and improved formula, 24 hour flexible wear, non-drying, fragrance free. I have never tried the first one, but I know that there was a lot of problems with the fragrance in it. Non-comedogenic, meaning it does not clog the pores. I don't have any pore clogging problems, so even if it wasn't non-comedogenic, it wouldn't bother me. Life proof, waterproof, okay. It says that it's life proof, meaning it's waterproof, super long wear, 24 hour wear, which I, I'm intrigued. I want to do a 24 hour foundation wear, but then I don't. Transfer proof, fade proof, sweat proof, humidity proof. Like what is going on? Oh, this is it, it's Dubai proof. Dubai proof. <laughs> Humidity proof, sweat proof, super long wear, 12 hour. How is it 12 hour Dubai proof, but 24 hour life proof? What is happening here? Pool party proof, waterproof, humidity resistant, sweat resistant, long wear, six hour. What does that mean? So at a pool party, it'll last six hours. In Dubai, it'll last 12 hours. And in your whole entire life, it'll last 24 hours. What does that mean? I don't understand that. Ultra long wearing, full coverage, luminous matte. It gives the face a flawless filter without the cake. Okay, okay, I'm intrigued, all right? I'm intrigued. 39 buildable shades, mask proof. <sighs> So let's get some swatches going, okay? First up, we have Hot Fudge. The bottle does look pretty. We do have a pump, which is nice. And let's just do a pump on the, on the back of the hand. I'm not gonna take too much. This is Hot Fudge 550R. Let's see what she's talking about. This is light. Yeah, Hot Fudge is not gonna work. This is Ganache 560R. Oh yeah, Ganache is the color that I used in the stick but it was too red, right? Didn't we think it was, I thought it was too red. What did you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you thought, but I feel like I recall it being too red because I haven't used it since that video. I do, however, use the lava cake to contour. So this is the next color and the last color and the deepest color, lava cake. <sighs> It is very clear that there's a color that could go in between these two and can go in between these two. What is the problem? Obviously this one's gonna be my color, but I recall that it was too uh, too red. We gonna see, we gonna figure it out. I don't have a Huda concealer. Do they even have concealer? I'm not sure. I don't have that, but I'm gonna put it on and we're gonna see how we feel. I don't, I don't contour with liquid. I feel like it'd be way too messy. Do you contour with liquid? I want you to comment and let me know. All right, so I wanna prime my face, but then I want to just put it on and just see what this looks like without any other manipulation because it's a luminous matte primer, the primer that I have in front of me. It's the Becca Ever Matte Primer, which is very mattifying. I don't want to skew the way that this actually looks on the skin. So I'm gonna put it on without a primer, which isn't the end of the world. All right, now the brush I'm gonna use is this NYX Professional Makeup Brush number 22. I, let's see. Oh, it's thick. Wow, this is thicker than I expected. I expected it to just wipe on. I was imagining the NYX Total Control Foundation that goes on like literally like a serum. Wow, this is, I took too much. Wow, this is thick. And this is my color. It's even like blending well here. Oh, wow. I don't believe I need as much. Wait, did it say that it dries down? Someone commented and said that it dried down too fast. Hold on a second. And yeah, it just has the regular foundation fragrance, you know, that scent. Wow, okay, this is, this is thick. This is not wiping like I thought it would. Okay, let's 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 move on here. <laughs> oh, okay. And I intentionally have not watched any videos on this because I wanted to just have my own fresh perspective on this. Wow, I took a lot. I didn't need all this. This is thick. It's like peanut butter. This doesn't even feel like a found a liquid. I feel like this is more creamy. Like it should be in a in a jar. Hello. I like it though. It's not what I expected. It feels like a gel. Hmm. Now that I know how thick this is, and when I use this again, I'm gonna use a different brush. This brush is more for 
for something more loose. This is too thick for this brush. It still works, but mm, this is not what I expected. I'm just pressing it in. I don't want any streaks or any, any unevenness. And I'm wiping off in between, right? So that when I get to my chin or my jawline, there's not too much pigment. Same with the hairline. Wow, okay, this is my color. I don't recall if I enjoyed the other ganache the same way I'm enjoying this right now. This is interesting. Do you see the luminosity of it all? Like, it feels like a gel is on my face. This is intriguing. Okay, there's something about this that I really am enjoying right now. This is very full coverage, like it said. It holds on. Hold on, I'm about to be using this often. Mm -hmm. Also sent a brow product, but I'm going to get myself up into the brow point and then we're going to discuss that product. But By the way, just a quick note, I am loving these Kosas powders. Okay, the packaging is cool. And the fact that it's just raised like this is so cute as well, but it looks really good and I love that. So we still see a sheen on the face. It looks filtered. It looks good. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna keep on going with the face. Oh, actually, sorry, excuse me, look at me, I'm having too much fun. We're actually now at the brow part, okay? So they sent three brow products to the kids. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on with this. Huda Beauty said it's not about Bomb Brows Micro Shade Pencil. So they're transfer proof, ultra fine tip, 24 hours. Use a darker shade pencil than you normally would use to create the ultimate hair-like strokes. The high pigment formula means you don't need to use a lot of product, even with minimal brow hair. Apply light pressure, concentrate on micro shading in sparse areas as opposed to the entire brow. This is gonna give realistic type brow strokes. 24 hours, smudge proof, waterproof, fade proof, pillow proof. Basically the all around life proof. All around life proof, what? Okay, so I'm gonna do this now obviously with my makeup on my face, but I am also going going to try this one day without makeup and see how this lasts. Alrighty, so we have medium, which is number five, rich, which is number six, and black brown, which is number seven. She said use a darker color than I normally would use. I normally would use black brown toward the end of my brow, but let's use it on the whole entire thing and let's see what she's talking about. Ooh, this is pretty, I gotta say. Look at one side, we have the pencil. Ooh, this is very, very fine. And then we have the brush. Okay, so I could have just used that. I do wish that this was longer, because look, when you go to brush, this is touching my skin. So I wish there was a long, like if this wasn't here, if it was pushed down more, but that's just a little tidbit, then it, it ain't a big deal. Okay, so here we go. I mean, that's why I use this because see, the area between here and here is long. It's not gonna touch my face and you can easily bend this if necessary, you know, whatever. Makeup artists do that. Ew! This is what the, oh, oh, I just broke it. Oh God, this is very fine. This is gonna look kind of invisible. Not invisible, but very fine. Huh, and it's definitely coming off. I guess it has to set before it, it becomes waterproof. Let's see how this behaves on top of makeup. Alrighty, so here we go. All right, so this pencil has broken three times already. It's really thin, which I know is, is intentional to get those hair-like strokes, which it is doing, so that I do like. But because of the way I do my brows, I just do them very quickly. I'm just moving. It keeps breaking, which I don't like. Now, this is black brown, but it looks lighter than what I normally am used to. Although I do take a black liner, like a really black, like a soft black type liner, and I do fill in the edges because I just don't want it to be so clear looking. I like my brows at the tip to be a little darker. For instance, I'm gonna use this Elf Cosmetics Instant Brow Lift, and this is actually a soft black. Oh, it's actually called black. <laughs> I thought this was soft black. It's black, <laughs> okay. Just looks better to me. But you know what? If you have full brows, you should be able to just use that product by itself and get some really great results.
Okay, we've finished the look and taken the hair down. And I have to say that I feel very beautiful. Granted, I did all of my usual stuff. I'll link all of the products in the description box so that you can see them, shop them if you want to. I like this foundation. I'm very convinced that this is a gel. It felt very much like a gel, a thick gel. So now I know what brush to use next time when I apply it. I will likely use a flat kabuki brush, something that is not as bendable, something that's more dense. For instance, this Sephora 70 brush is dense. It's thick. When you press on it, let me get a tissue. When you press on it, it's not going to bend. It doesn't, it itself doesn't bend much. It's like a block almost, but it applies really well versus the one that I use from NYX. It's great for their foundation, which is very like much like a serum. It's very runny, very thin, excuse me, not runny. It's very thin. So when you apply it, it bends. Do you understand that? So with this foundation, I'm not going to use a bendable brush. It's got to be something stiff because this is a gel. It looks really, really good. I want you to comment and let me know what you think about it. Again, lashes, all of that is done. Down below in the description box. <sighs> this looks good. This looks like a satin finish. I do see the matte in it. And remember, I did not prime my face. Wow. This is very peculiar. I mean, this is like, I don't know. All I know is that this is really, really nice. Ganache 560R is definitely my color. I like this foundation a lot. It is going to go right in my everyday kit that I've shown you on my vlog, and I'm gonna be using this a lot. Now I know I don't need very much. This is great. Now, is it waterproof? Is it transfer proof? Is it mask proof? I mean, I can't imagine it. Like, what? You know, now I did put powder on top, right? That's just what I think everyone does. If not, that's what I do. It says that it's mask proof. Let me go get it. I don't want to mess up my makeup. Let me go get a white mask. It's a children's mask. I don't wear white masks. I wear the black one or I wear the Fendi one that I got that I showed you in my vlog. I don't think this is mask proof, yo. We gonna see. Remember, this is a kitty one, so it's not gonna fit my face the way it should, but you know, you get the idea. Let's just pat on the face and see if it comes off, if anything comes off. A little. A little bit definitely comes off, like it's, and I'm pressing because imagine you're wearing your mask, you're talking, you're moving, you're at the kiosk or whatever you're talking, so I'm trying to emulate that by just pressing it onto my face. My makeup is obviously still intact. Honestly, what this looks like I did is just absorb the oil. I have makeup on my finger, but you see, so the makeup did come off, I don't understand, but I do understand because it's makeup, it's natural, it's going to come off when you wear a mask. So as far as it being waterproof and sweatproof, I'm not gonna be able to find that out right now, but I. I do like it enough to keep on wearing it. So as I'm wearing it, I will update you and let you know what I'm thinking about it. I want you to comment and let me know if you picked up the foundation. Are you planning to pick up the foundation? What color are you wearing? Have you tried it? Do you like it? Do you plan on trying it? Do you think this looks good on me? What do you think? I'm so glad that you watched the video. Glad that you're here. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.